Okay, everybody, let me show you what I've got going on out here. In this video, we're going to talk about insulating and lighting the winter greenhouse because obviously it's winter and it gets cold. And the other thing that happens in winter, which makes it difficult to grow, is the plants don't get enough direct lighting uh, to grow sufficiently. So I'm going to address both of those in this video. On the outside, you can see that I've got foam insulation on. You can see the exact kind here as well. It's Dow, it's three quarter inch, and uh, I've got it tied up with tomato twine. And you can see there's four different lines here. And then I wrap the tomato twine around and I tie it with a trucker's hitch. Uh, so that's pretty simple. And the reason why I'm doing this instead of doing the plastic double layer inside is because once I take this off, um, then it's got the clear polycarbonate and it allows a lot more sun in, uh, as you may have seen in the last video on the winter greenhouse. So that's how I'm insulating it. Um, it's real easy to put up. I made these troughs here and it's basically a treated two by four with a deck board here to create a trough for it to sit on and then I lean it up against and I take a uh, decking screw and I tied a, a piece of tomato twine to it and I pulled it across. Now while I'm putting it up these first three I have a screw here and that has a loop in it and all that does is just keep these three from falling down until I get the other two up and then I take this and wrap it all the way around. Once I have one done in the middle here that holds them all up and then I can do all four. And so that's really it. That's all I'm doing for insulation. It seems to be doing pretty good. So let's take a look at the inside of the winter greenhouse. I'm in my shed and if you haven't watched my previous videos inside my shed I built a door going into what was a lawnmower covered area and I enclosed in to make this winter greenhouse and this is what it looks like in here now it's pretty dang cold today and I'll show you what the temperatures say 69 with 44 humidity on that one and 68 with 36 humidity on that one since we're talking about humidity I've got a dehumidifier up here keep the humidity um, manageable and uh, I've also got lighting on timers here's a timer and it has a Brady cord of LED lighting that I made and that LED lighting goes up comes around that wraps along these bars here and I made uh, just put these connectors on a long piece of that braided cord with uh, let's see what's the wattage on these it's 8 watt usage 5,000 kilo or 5,000 K um, sun lighting or equivalent not equivalent to sun but high end, uh, high, very bright I guess you could say. Uh, I don't know what it's equivalent to but I think it's like 60 or 80 watt equivalent but it only uses 5 kilowatts. But I've got those staggered here. I just laid them over the bar and I have them staggered where it'll offer some bright regular type light and um, also I have LED lighting here and over here and I have those secured with EMT uh, an EMT bar and um, this ratchet um, lift here you know you could pull it up here and it and it lifts it up or lowers it it's tied to the ceiling with a hook and uh, it's also got a in case the hook comes out it's got a a decking screw with some nylon cord tied to it that way it'll catch it and it'll keep these lights from crashing down okay so that's what's going on with the lighting this is this is um 
I've got four of them. This is, uh, well, I'll show you the brand here. And it is 300 watts. This one and this one. These were the first two I bought. Um, very early this year or last year. I'm not quite sure when I bought them. And they do pretty good. I, I bought one originally for seed starting. And um, I liked the way it did. So I bought a second one here. And I uh, wasn't really using it for this winter greenhouse. But then I bought, I decided to, and then I bought this one here. And this is a thousand watt. I'll show you that it's upside down but it's a different brand here I'll put the brands um, in the description and how many watts um, each one have but this is a thousand and this is a thousand and there are two different ones now these are single chip LEDs this is a double chip LED and this one I just bought is a triple chip LED um, so all together the this light is 185 watts this one is 185 watts this one's 135 watts and this one's 135 watts so all together the elliot four leds are about 650 watts and then you've got five times ten of these uh, so that's another 100 watts. So you got about 750 watts total when these things are running. And that's what I'm using to supplement the light. So um, I'll turn these on just to give you a look at what they look like uh, when they're running and it's insulated. And speaking of insulation, you can see that the insulation board is up and what it looks like. And it's very, very comfortable in here despite being pretty cold outside. So I guess my aim is to keep what I've adjusted the temperatures to is 62. I don't want to get much below 60 during the night. And during the daytime, I have, uh, I have targeted somewhere between 72 and 78 degrees. Um, and how I control that is two different things right now. Actually three if you count the two types of things. I have a radiator heater. It's got a thermostat on it that is set at night to 62 and it's 61 so it's on when it gets up to 62 uh, and it's on the floor too so it's uh, it's going to be cooler uh, until it cut I mean when it cuts on but as you can see here it's warmer up higher you know because heat rises and all that so that set at 62 then I have a thermostat here it's on a separate line, uh, electrical line, 20 amp electrical line, and it is set to 72, and uh, right now it's at 69. And that, if you look, it goes up and over the door and it sits up here. And that's just a space heater, ceramic space heater. And that um, is more or less the primary at night, and this is the backup at night. Now during the day, this is going to cut off because it's going to definitely get above 62. And this one will almost surely cut off as well. And then what I have now is a vent. And when the door is closed, this is set to cool. I take this out, which I just did, and I plug this in after I set it to cool. Like so. Close it. And now, this will come on when it gets, as you can see, it's at 80 or uh, 72. Anyway, um, not sure what's going on here. Anyway, it, what this vent does is it sucks the air out of the room here, which is kept more or less at an even pace by a fan that's on medium. And um, there's a vent intake over here. Let me carry you down here. Right there. And it sucks the air in. It comes out down here 
from the vent uh, fan sucking it out that one and then it circulates so that's how I keep the daytime temperatures down so let me turn the lighting on like I said a minute ago and show you what it looks like in here when it's lighted and with the foam uh, up all right this is what it looks like when it's fully lit no or not much in outside light coming in um, it looks completely different with the foam down uh, but this is controlled by these timers here this timer here and it cuts on I'll just show you here I cycle through it cuts on at 6 in the morning to 9 and then 10 to 1 and then 2 to 5 and then 6 to 7 and then it cuts off so that's how long it comes on so that's nine that's 11 hours of LED supplemental lighting from these and um, I don't think this is it, it'll probably consume a noticeable amount of electricity but I just don't know how much because this radiator heater is uh, set to 600 watts the low setting and then this one up here is also set to the low setting so between all this um, I imagine there'll be a little bit of an electrical um, I guess increase uh, in my power usage but uh, it'll be negligible because we do um, levelized bill billing so right now my electric is about $235 and it's levelized across the entire year so as a hobby that's really negligible uh, because I just really enjoy doing it so about the plants and stuff like that I'm gonna cover that later I'll discuss all that later and what I've got growing on and all that in here but for now I'm gonna take the styrofoam down show you where I keep it and then I'll bring it back in here and show you what it looks like in here okay I released the truckers hitches over on this side I took these two down now I'm gonna take these three down as you can see this one remained up and that's to keep these up while I do these other two over here so now I'm gonna remove this loop and I'm gonna take these three I'm gonna put them in the greenhouse over on top of the water culture bed and I'll put a board on top of that and that's where they stay until the night time comes all right there they are just close this up keep the wind from whipping them around I'll probably put a board on top of it from the wheelbarrow there uh, so it takes me about five minutes probably a, half of that actually to take these down it's real simple and then uh, I'll just take one of these I'll show you how I store them just to keep the keep them from getting kind of tangled up just take and put them back with a loose trucker's hitch and just kind of put them up Let's see we got this one's caught on on that nail there there we go and we just put them in there loose and that's where we store them so I'll put all four on there loose and uh, that keeps them off the ground and wind from throw them all over the place one thing I forgot to mention is that this tomato twine is it's pretty strong but tying and retying those trucker hitches kind of frays it so I don't anticipate it'll last very long so to that end I bought some 550 paracord and I've used that extensively in the military and well everywhere just love that stuff it's great for tying things so I've got some 550 paracord on order and I'll replace those four lines with paracord let's go take a look inside now okay we're inside the lights are on it's hard to tell now because the bright sun's coming in and uh, you can see on this nice sunny day how much light is coming in the greenhouse we're looking at the plants and uh, they're not tall and leggy they're actually growing very well and I'm very pleased with it so far so we'll monitor it 
I may or may not have to buy another LED light, hopefully not. Uh, but if that's the case, I will because I enjoy growing during the winter time. So I just can't quit growing. <laughs> it's crazy. So anyway, like I said, I will discuss everything that's in here, all the plants and all that at a, at a later time. Uh, but for now, that's it. This is a video just showing you how I do the lighting, the supplemental lighting, and uh, how I insulate it and control temperatures and all that. This is Brent. We'll see you guys later.